Hey everyone, Jen here. I'm making uh, some more soap today. I'm hoping to make a couple batches. We'll see how that goes. Um, I am, this first batch is uh, something, it's a blend I put together. It's um, very floral with a hint of cotton and grass smells. Um, it's just a nice, uh, yummy, summery scent in my opinion. So I will be calling this one Summer Breeze and I'm hoping it kind of goes the way I want it to. Um, so oils are here, why is it about to go in? Using up the last of the coconut water. So we've got orange colored lye. Just a quick blend. Time for milks. Sorry for the banging. Okay. Splitting off here. I didn't even check to see if you can see. Hopefully you can. If not, I'm splitting off. And I'll move you in a minute. <laughs> First of all, can you see what I'm doing? Hey, look at that. You kind of can. But I'm going to put some back. Yeah. That's good. I'm debating here. I'm trying to think of my design in my head. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, hopefully it's... <laughs> I used to make this a long time ago. Um, I actually haven't made it quite like this in a while. So, or I mean, I haven't made it in this design ever. So, I'm trying to be adventurous today. Alright. This is going to be green. This bigger amount is going to be blue, and then we're going to have some white here. All right. I think that's a decent grass green. To put a smidge more in.
Well, hopefully it cures to look a little bit more grassy, but we shall see. All right. And then big pot. Got the blue. And I have no idea if this uh, fragrance is going to discolor on me or not. Um, a poor, for, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Um, but, you know, shouldn't being the keyword, right? And I'll be stick blending this once the fragrance gets in. Because you know it makes the white better. Speaking of the fragrance, all right, most of it in here, a little bit more in here. Like I said, this is a blend um, I put together. It's very floral with some um, cotton scent and grass and musk, and sandalwood. It, it's just, you know, when you're running around outside when you're a kid and neighbors are mowing the lawn and people are drying their clothes outside, you know, and all those scents mixed together on a sunny summer day. It's kind of what we're going for here. Hopefully we achieve it. Although I'm kind of disappointed my green looks more olive green. So it's gonna look like burnt grass. <laughs> though because I do want this to stay workable. I'm going to in the pot swirl the blue and the white here. Let's see if you can figure out what I'm trying to do.
I'm going to get all that in here so I don't have to worry about this container anymore. Just a quick swirl. All right. Let's get the mold. I'm going to bang the mold, but then I want to texturize this a smidge. not too much this up too much and just oh, it's really ploppy so I don't know if it will or not pour the white the blue and the white on yeah I don't want it to break through the green at least not too much so I'm kind of glad it's a little ploppy here Once I get enough of it on, woo, making a mess. Awkwardness. Then I will be safe to just go ahead and pour. Oops. Sorry if my head's in your way. showing through and I'm going to go ahead and pop the rest of this in. This should be interesting looking. <laughs> well if it goes according to plan I think it'll be kind of cool. It's just depending right now what this green's going to do for me. Remember. Well, let's see if I can. Yeah, just a little bit. Hopefully that green stayed a little bit textured looking. Alright. Now, so everything's in the mold. And I want to do a yellow mica swirl on top to represent, you know, sun on a sun shiny summer day. Apparently it's wishful thinking for me here. It's supposed to rain all weekend. 
and I do believe it has started. I have no idea how this is gonna look. I don't know if it's just gonna look ridiculous or cool. You know, I overdid the mica swirl a little bit on uh, my crisp apple rose soap, so at least I think I did. So I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative with this. All right. Come there in one sec. Okay. Alright. Well, for future reference, this moved a little bit quickly on me. But nothing I'm upset about. Alright. So, we have Summer Breeze. Stay tuned for the cutting. Hopefully... Cross fingers, this looks the way I want it to. Hey everyone, thanks for staying to watch the cutting. Um, so this has, it's been about 24 hours since I made this. Um, and I really like how it smells. Uh, you seem to pick up everything. Um, all the, the, like I said, the florals and the cotton and the grass scent and I just, um, like I said, it's just, I, I like the blend. I'm hoping you do too because it is one of the, it's my own blend and I don't do that very often because I'm not very confident in it, but I would like to um, do it more often if that makes sense. Anyway, um, just looking at the end, my design worked. Um, I was going for, you know, green grass with the sunny, cloudy, or sunny blue sky, you know, with little clouds and stuff. So, um, just looking at the end piece, I'm pretty uh, happy with how it turned out. We're going to cut that off now, then we'll get a look inside. Yeah! I'm really pleased with that. <laughs> I sound surprised every single time when, it, when things work out, don't I? <laughs> so it's a beautiful day here today. I thought it was supposed to rain all day, but it turns out that it had a nice sunshiny day. Um, and then, you know, we got the uh, sunny yellow mica swirl on the top there. But yeah, I'm pretty uh, pleased with that. This is, um, I'm sure you've seen videos and pictures of people who do landscape soaps and um, I, I guess this would be considered one. I mean, obviously it's a very simplistic one. Um, so I, some of these people can just make gorgeous pictures in their soaps. So I'm, um, I'm working on getting my Etsy site updated. Um, I started my giveaway for the soap panel fragrances, so if you've not head on over to my Facebook page, please do so. I'm using Rafflecopter for the first time and hoping that works out for me. Um, if I can hit 500 likes on my Facebook page, I'm going to give away two sets of all eight uh, soap panel soaps, sample size soaps, but still. Um, so yeah some incentive. Get on over there and like it. Increase your odds. 
and all that good stuff. I just keep, they look so nice. I'm, I don't know why I'm so, ooh, hello, so surprised. And I, I didn't get the breakthrough on the green like I thought I did. I, I thought in a couple places the blue went through. Even though it did thicken up on, on me, so it would have been hard for it to go through. But The green is still a bit more of an olive green than I was expecting. Um, I think it's the fragrance because it's much brighter and grassy looking. Not grassy looking, but it's a, it's a brighter, it's truer to how the mica itself looks. And the other soap I made yesterday in the ginger patchouli, which I'm going to be cutting in a second. Um, so yeah, I think the fragrance discolored a little. Not a ton. I mean, the white is very white still. And the green may brighten up. Um, it's not, I mean, it's obviously better. It's better than it was looking yesterday because yesterday it was looking very olive when I poured it. Um, and it might just be that I didn't use enough green to get the bright, bright green. So last bar. You know how it is, trying to keep this one straight for me. It's crooked. <laughs> Someone's going to get a cooker bar, so. Um, not terrible, but still. I see it. Anyways, we've got Summer Breeze. Our green, green grass. Our blue sunny sky with a little bit of yellow mica for the sunshine. Let me know what you think. I hope you uh, like it as much as I do. And the smell, mm, it's, it's got a little bit of everything. Like I said, it, it's a really nice, it, it, it's a very, I would say feminine smell, but um yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. <laughs> so anyways, uh, you know, give a like, subscribe if you haven't. And like I said earlier, head on over to Facebook and check out my giveaway. See you all soon. And thanks for watching. Bye.